How is it to fight Japanese girls then? It hurts. <laughs> if I hit you in the face, I hit you in the face. Right? <laughs> that is a universal language. I think that understands. Yeah, I think I think I think you get the point. Sometimes the ones that look the cutest hit the hardest. Don't judge a book by its cover. Japanese love pro wrestling. People are like, what well, wrestling? What is this wrestling thing? Who is this Austrian making it in Japan? And I love the culture. It's like I have so much passion for it. Passion. That's the thing. Gotta have passion for whatever you do. Passion. And don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be all right. Hey, YouTube kittens! It's Kathy Cat, and today I have a special guest! Ta da! It's Tikla, the toxic spider. Now, I'm really curious to find out how is the wrestling scene in Japan different from the wrestling scene in Austria? <laughs> Completely different. Completely different. Completely different. Japanese love pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's one of the, the most popular sports here. Um, yeah, I see it like on the buses and yeah, Harajuku you see, yeah, and you see, like, yeah, you see posters. Yeah, exactly. You, you go on the train, you see the posters, you know, it's like, oh, that's my friend, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. But in Austria, like nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's really a niche. It's getting better. Obviously, I got a little bit of you know a little bit of press coverage, and people are like, "What well, wrestling? What is this wrestling thing? You mm -hmm. know, who is this Austrian making it in Japan?" And also before that, it was already like getting hotter. You know, it's mm -hmm. like a, a renaissance of, of of wrestling, right? In my opinion, I think the best wrestling is in Japan. The Japanese really love it. It's been a part of the culture for a long time. There's a lot of it. You come to Japan, you can see. Uh, prob probably a wrestling match every day of the week if you oh, if you're in Tokyo okay. if you're fine if you know if you look closely there's like a calendar and there's like it's full of wrestling matches full of right? wrestling yeah. matches. like my company we have around ten matches every month maybe more mm -hmm. in Austria it's a niche and there's very little going on oh. and in Austria maybe you have like three or four companies so that's different if you have let's say forty companies here or thirty. That's the difference. So you can probably make it better full time here than you could back home. Right? I couldn't make it you full couldn't time. Make it full time. Back home. I could make it somewhere in Europe, maybe, but it's very difficult. Mm. Very difficult. How is it to fight Japanese girls then? <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> But it hurts to fight me as well, I, I suppose. I don't know. I don't want to find out, to be honest. Um, it's great. For Japan, I remember when I when I first came here, my trainer back in, back in Austria, they were like, you better buckle up. <laughs> the training is very hard. There's no joking around, right? Mm. So it's very, it's very sports-based. It's very, you have to be athletic. You have to be fast. You have to be hitting hard. You know, you have to know your stuff. Of course, at the beginning, it was like a communication thing, right? It's also difficult to talk to people, but then, at the same time wrestling is a universal language you know it's just if i hit you in the face i hit you in the face right? <laughs> that is a universal language i think that understands yeah, i think i think i think you get the point <laughs> I saw a couple of the pictures and stuff that you put up yeah. on Instagram and some of them were like these really cute pink outfits. Oh yeah. And like and, and it looks so cute and so fluffy. So cute. And, but it still hurts. <laughs> well, yes. Well, sometimes the ones that look the cutest hit the hardest. Yeah, oh. so don't so don't 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 judge a book by its cover. Oh. That's another one for you out there. <laughs> Luring you into a sense of fake security. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job, huh? but I like it that way. Mm -hmm. Also, it's like you get used to it, right? And uh, and it's very exciting. Every day is different, and the girls are great. Also, you know, they're very talented. I'm I'm with some of the best wrestlers in the world right now mm -hmm. in my company. I'm very proud to be part of it. Nobody has been in this position the way I am now. You know? wow. And we're. We're going places like my company is like it's called Stardom, right? For the people who don't know, it's the biggest female company in the world, I would say. Yeah. Oh, for pro wrestling. For pro wrestling, yes, wow. yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we've got huge shows with over a thousand people coming in. It's like this, this big spectacle, you know. And then we go on tour for like nine days or something, you know. We go to all all kinds of places in Japan. It's it's really great. We're like a like a touring rock band, you know? Yeah. You are in a very unique position because you're kind of the first of your kind. You're the first Austrian who's gone that, that yeah. path. Yes. If there's a, out there somewhere a girl who lives in a small place somewhere in Europe and she wants to follow your footsteps, what would be your advice? Yeah, don't be afraid. That's the, that's the main mm -hmm. thing. You gotta, you gotta go for it. Timing is super important, but also hard work and being open-minded and not being afraid mm -hmm. is the one thing. I think it's 
it's doable because I started from the bottom. Now I'm here, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> for real. Like, and you have like a press interview later after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah like... I've got a press conference later. I'm challenging for the high speed title. So, Ooh. so yeah, I came from like a live house, you know, dive bar seller. And I made it to the big stage here, you know, it's like we fight in places like uh, Budokan, you know. Wow, Budokan, guys, if you don't know, that is like a yeah. big deal here or, in Japan. Or Sumo Hall, right? Mm -hmm. We did Sumo Hall the other day, Ryogoku. So it's like, wow. it's, you know, yeah. I never imagined that, you know. Even even a year ago, I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm a wrestler. That's all great, you know, but now I'm here all of a sudden. Mm. So, But I was working hard, you know, and I put, the, I put the work into learning Japanese and being able to communicate with people, you know. And I love the culture. It's like I have so much passion for it, you know, and I have passion for wrestling. Passion. That's the thing. Gotta have passion for whatever you do. Passion. All right. So have a lot of passion, work hard, yeah. yes. train hard, yes. learn Japanese hard. Yes. And don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a really good advice. Right. Where can we see your matches inside of Japan and outside of Japan? Inside of Japan. Well, you got to come around. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see. I wanna yeah, see. well, you come around. I mean, you can you can see all the dates. Mm -hmm. But for the people out there, if you are going to make it to Japan, you can see the dates on the Stardom website. Mm -hmm. But basically, it's stardom slash world dot com. There you can find some information. I think there you can find the matches too. And there's also an official YouTube. It's also you just type in stardom and official and match and take love mm -hmm. and toxic spider. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see it all <laughs> thank you so much for being here <laughs> thanks Actually, for inviting me <laughs> I brought a small what, what, what? <laughs> I love gifts <laughs> no way it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy <laughs> mystery mystery <laughs> person mystery coming <laughs> in so since you're talking about wrestling matches people hitting you in the face I thought this might be <laughs> This might maybe be a good thing in case yes. people are hitting you in the face. You're killing my diet here. <laughs> I'm killing your diet. But it's a, a chocolate first aid kit. <laughs> so it has so like, cute. It's all like it looks like little syringes and band-aids and everything just oh, that it's chocolate. This insane. <laughs> I love it, but so, it's, it's also a little bit mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, you know, if you had like a really tough match, you know, and you, you like, oh, like, Bruce, oh. I'm like, <laughs> eating chocolate. First aid kit, first aid yeah. kit. <laughs> I'm an athlete, so this makes everything worse. Right? <laughs> I'm hurt, getting fat. <laughs> it's, it's just a, a, a small portion. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Thank you. And let me know. I'll get you a ticket, yeah, for the next show, whenever you want to come around. Yeah, I will. Oh, my God, yes. I'll be there. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. All the information are also going to be down in the description box. And if you're curious about more cool stuff from Japan, then check out this video next here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.